it's really such a pleasure to be here. Um, uh, amongst other things that I do, um, of course, I birthed Nourish Snacks. And um, I just have to say, I'm so incredibly grateful because so many of you guys believed in us, you supported in us, you supported us. I walk into the store and I really feel like it's a big pinch me moment. And we're really excited because today, so these are the granola bites that we first launched with in September. And this was our sweet category. And of course, I obsess over every single ingredient. Today, you have to come to our booth. Um, we are launching our ancient grain crisps. Um, and again, it checks every box from gluten, -free, these are gluten free, nut free, non GMO. Um, these are vegan, naturally gluten free. Um, and again, like if anybody is into the ingredients, I would love to talk to you about them because um, when I'm not on TV, when I'm not writing, I am literally in my kitchen making a big fat mess, much to my husband's dismay. <laughs> So um, I think it's a really, really exciting time for us foodies because like not only, of course, you know, does everybody eat 24 seven, but I think people are realizing that food is so much more than fun and celebration and emotion and tradition. And it's really a time of exploration with the health field. And that makes me really, really excited because we know that by eating the right foods in the right amounts, you can catapult yourself to the top of your game. How's that for a provocative title? <laughs> I wanted to make sure that everybody stayed awake. Um, so just to show a few things, you know, obviously from the physical sense, food has the ability to help you lose and maintain your weight, boost stamina, energy, strength, help you deep puff and feel less bloated. If anybody saw the spot I did yesterday, a couple of people already said they were going to try my concoction. Um, on NBC, move with greater ease. It helps to manage your blood pressure numbers, so greater blood, blood flow throughout your body. It strengthens bones, helps to level out blood sugar levels, whether you're having hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. And from the emotional standpoint, we know that people sleep better when they eat better. Obviously, it's gonna boost your self-confidence, even just from the placebo effect, if you feel like you're fueling your body with the right stuff brain power for sure, and if you feel really comfortable in your skin, you're happier and you have better relationships. We know this for facts. So again, by eating the right foods in the right amounts, not only can you add years to your life, but you can blast your life with fabulous years and days throughout you know, prolonged periods of time. So super, super important. So I thought we would have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm gonna walk through the grocery store and I'm gonna do a couple of call outs and features to some of the everyday items that people are popping into their grocery cart. Um, I'm gonna do it in quiz form. I have major prizes. I'm just saying they're really good prizes. I was gonna give out like race cars and $25,000 cash and Courtney said, no, this group just wants food, so. If you have an issue with it, blame Courtney. <laughs> um, so there's two rules to this little quiz sequence that we're going to be doing. The first is, dietitians are not able to raise their hand, because <laughs> you guys know all the answers. Um, the second is no Googling. And if I were to throw a third in there, no like swinging, no calling out the answer, just raise your hand. What gives pumpkin its orange color? Raise your hand if you think you know. Is it omega-3 fats, beta-carotene, vitamin C, or sun exposure? Who knows? Beta-carotene, and he has won a can of pumpkin! Give him a round of applause. So the answer is beta-carotene. So here's, here's the cool thing about pumpkin and why I'm calling out to it. First of all, I love the fact that it's available year-round, it's cheap, it constantly goes on sale, and it's shelf-stable, but hopefully it won't sit in the kitchen for too long. This thing is so versatile, canned pumpkin. Beta-carotene is like nature's exfoliant. It helps us to slough off old skin cells and then lay down and regenerate new gorgeous ones for a glowing complexion. So that's beta-carotene. The other thing is that with the carotenes, we have research that shows it could also reduce the risk for certain types of arthritis and autoimmune issues. It's also busting with potassium. And potassium is like the anti-sodium. Sodium holds on to water and your blood pressure numbers go up. 
Potassium helps to flush out water and sodium so that your blood pressure numbers will go down. And last but not least, pumpkin is high volume and high fiber and it's low calorie. So it has the ability to poof up anything that you work it into. I put it in my oatmeal with a little bit of vanilla extract and um, pumpkin pie spice and a dash of maple syrup, delicious. I work it into turkey taco meat. My kids have no idea what they're eating. Um, I also, anybody like pumpkin pie? You have to remember this recipe. You take a vanilla yogurt, just add in a dollop of canned pumpkin puree, put some maybe toasted pecans on top with some pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon or nutmeg. You're eating pumpkin pie pudding for 150 calories, no guilt. You could even have it for breakfast in the morning. So small, easy, accessible ideas to do with pumpkin. Next question. Which seed claims to grow hair? Is it chia seed, flax seed, sesame seed, folic seed? Ch -ch -ch chia <laughs> It's chia. The, the operative word here, though, is claims. If anybody would see a picture of my husband, and if I could tell you how often he eats chia seeds, the poor guy does not have one hair on his head. <laughs> Forgive me, Ian, but he's very, very healthy. Chia seeds are amazing um, for a number of reasons. First, they're made with soluble fiber, and soluble fiber is like a cholesterol magnet in the body. So it forms a gel, it latches onto cholesterol, and it can escort the cholesterol out of your system. It also has those omega-3 fats. So omega-3 fats um, tame inflammation, and they also help to aid in digestion and could help with aches and pains and boost heart health. Chia seeds have no taste and they're not heat sensitive. So you can't not like them. It's a psychological thing if you think that you don't like them and you could add them into anything and everything. And I have them in all of my snacks. And the cool thing also about chia seeds is that when you eat them, they enlarge up, they enlarge, they, they um, absorb water and they enlarge to eight times the size that they are before you put them in your mouth. So that means that they keep you feeling fuller longer too, so they could help with weight management as well. So we love them. Traditional yogurt has eight grams of protein per single container. How many grams of protein are in a single container of Greek yogurt on average? 5 grams, 12 grams, 18 grams, 25 grams. 18 grams. OK, first I forgot to give out the chia seeds. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm failing. OK, here are the chia seeds. Who got the chia seeds? Right over there, she got the chia seeds. Round of applause for her. <laughs> and considering that the yogurt needed to be refrigerated, we stayed with the Greek theme, and we have extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> the way that we, um, they create Greek yogurt is they're, they're basically straining off the liquid of traditional yogurt. So what that does is we lose a little bit of the calcium, but it intensifies and concentrates the protein. I love Greek yogurt. First, because protein is filling and it helps to stabilize your blood sugars, but I think the most important reason that I love it is it's so versatile if you use the plain Greek yogurt as a swap out for sour cream. So it could go on baked potatoes, it could go on chili. Um, it, you could also use it instead of mayo in things like chicken salad and tuna salad. And that's a little key lime pie pudding that I make with plain Greek yogurt, some key limes squeezed out or regular lime if you can't get a hold of them, they're not in season, and a dash of sugar, and it's delicious. And then, of course, I crumble a graham cracker on top <laughs> just to give it some oomph. But Greek yogurt is terrific. Now, Icelandic yogurt will be like along the same lines. Okay, which is the only nut that's a good source of omega-3 fats? Who thinks they know? Walnuts. Walnuts, got it. Walnuts, let me give you some walnuts. You guys are cleaning up over there. <laughs> oh, I forgot the round of applause. <laughs> So this is also cool for the dietitians to know. Walnuts are the walnuts are the only nuts 
that have a significant amount of omega-3 fats. And remember again, omega-3 fats aid in digestion. They help to tame inflammation. They help with brain power because they help at the membrane level. And they also boost heart health. We used to think that the type of plant-based omega-3s in chia seeds and in walnuts, it's called ALA, was like less superior to um, like a salmon, which is DHA. But we're now finding that studies are showing this type is super powerful as well. And what I love about walnuts, they don't get enough love. I love them because um, they're totable. You don't need to refrigerate them. They're super easy, and they're really, really good for you. But I also want to just let you know that whatever nut we choose, speaking along the lines of like the plant-based diet right now, Every nut brings some asset to the table. So pecans are the highest antioxidant-containing nut. Um, pistachios have something called plant stanols, which latches onto cholesterol and takes it out of your body. Brazil nuts are loaded with selenium, which is great for reducing the risk for prostate cancer. So the point being, vary it around and eat nuts. Did anyone ever see the segment on the Today Show when live on the air in front of 14 million people, I asked Al Roker if he keeps his nuts in the freezer? <laughs> yeah, that happened. Um, fact or fiction, one Halloween-style pumpkin contains about 500 seeds. Somebody in the back get that. Boom, pumpkin seeds. I threw this one up here just because, again, I want to spread the love to seeds. We talk about nuts, nuts, nuts. Seeds are unbelievable. And pumpkin seeds, I'm forecasting, are going to be the new almonds. They have so much zinc. And zinc boosts your immune system and helps with wound healing. Um, quinoa. I had to put quinoa up there. It's a protein-rich seed. What I love about quinoa is that compared to rice, it's got so much more protein. It has a little bit more fiber. So anybody with blood sugar issues would definitely want to go for quinoa because it will steady them. Much better for diabetics. So who is brave enough to stand up and say quinoa 10 times fast for the prize of a bag of quinoa? Who's going to do it? Courtney? I need a dietitian to do this one. Nobody? OK. OK, go for it. OK. And last but not least, so let's talk about chocolate for a minute. We all know that dark chocolate has all of these medicinal effects, right? And thank goodness. How many people like chocolate? Yeah, me too. So when you get to the 60% or higher, we know that dark chocolate has these flavanols. And what flavanols do is they keep our blood vessels happy, healthy, and elastic. And if you have better blood vessels, you have better seamless blood flow throughout your body, which means that every single organ and cell in your brain is getting fed well. The thing with um, you know, dark chocolate also is that it's caloric. So what I tell people is you want to go for about an ounce, which is the size of a credit card, per day. Or even better, where's my cocoa powder? Honestly, guys, it's like the Pope of dark chocolate. This is 100% dark chocolate. And when you consider that dark chocolate per ounce is about 150 calories, this is 15 calories per tablespoon. Add a little bit in your coffee, add a little bit in your oatmeal, in your smoothie, wherever you can get it in. So my, for my very, very end, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a backstory. is that um, back in the day, centuries ago, in Central and South America, there was a tradition that um, at the end of the harvest for all the cacao beans, they would lay them out and they would invite all of the village people while they were drying under the sun to do a dance on top of them. So four, I've got five dark chocolate bars here, right? So I would like to see who is brave enough. I need five people to show us your cocoa dance. Five chocolate bars, but I'm going to make it a little easier. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I need five people.
people. Oh yeah. Round of applause. Woo! You guys get to, you get the whole five, the whole enchilada. All right, so. Um, <laughs> just to wrap, I want to say thank you so much again. I hope everybody comes by our booth. I want you to try our ancient grains. I'm so proud of them, and I'll be there to answer any questions. And, um, you know, again, it was really a pleasure to be here. And thanks for playing.